Trump needs to hire Keanu as a bodyguard. Yeah, right. Nobody well, should have a female bodyguard no. for any reason, even if well, you are also female. I'll support this. Remember when you were um, pepper sprayed? I got True. you out of there far better than than that. <laughs> That's where yeah. I got Trump out of there. I was like, everybody out of here now, Christy. Come on. You see? So maybe, yes, mm -hmm. if, if I heard bullets, obviously I'm not good with bullets. I don't even know how to duck. <laughs> Uh, in case you know anything about me, but uh, and I protect myself with an acrylic chair, but I would have tried a little harder, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay. what I said too. I was like, why is there a woman in charge of Secret Service? That's like a man's job. It's like, it's I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, there's so many pictures, and like we've seen so many of the pictures from men the are protectors, man, women yeah. are not. Like, I thought it was kind doing? of cool to have that maybe trump was like getting some you know uh tough females in his he doesn't want females i don't know okay. I don't like know. the woman literally had to just like d shoot her hand in front of his head as if her hand's gonna like not yeah. stop a bit it's gonna stop a bullet or something else you know right like, like oh, at least make right. them hot yeah. Like what yeah. the fuck is this? At least make them hot. Yeah, like what the <laughs> like, fuck is that? Well, I mean, guy with some nice tits in his face, you know. Right. Exactly. And I don't know. Does Trump hire his own Secret Service? Probably not. But I was like, okay, there's some ladies in there. But well, yeah, it, you're hire... if you're assigning security to, you know, one of the most prolific people in the world right now mm -hmm. and you're saying oh like these are the people that are gonna have to like potentially step in line to protect you save your life you're not gonna put people who like dwarf him by a foot yeah you're not gonna <laughs> hire and a fucking he's a tall though. man yeah like, you're what right. are you doing he's a big tall man that was just dumb whoever did that deserves to be fired and much worse yeah it was probably yeah. for the look of it because i was like oh cool, he's got a lot of ladies there oh, yeah, look to find out they did nothing <laughs> they yeah, for did. the look of it and they weren't even hot or anything like what are you like at least that like that <laughs> is the least hot. you could do throw <laughs> them in some booty shorts and yeah, a something top. And somebody really with like work. You know, somebody that <laughs> with fake breasts that could take no, like that chick Not from actually, Hollywood, actually. Florida, that cop that's like going viral, like that kind of woman. Okay, like something. Not that. Like I don't know. <laughs> if you put into Twitter just female bodyguard, <laughs> uh, boy, is it fun? Okay. <laughs> oh, from boy. Liz of TikTok, director of Secret Service, Kimberly Tittle said she's aiming to make the Secret Service more diverse and hire more women. Oh. This is uh, this was today. The female agent couldn't even holster her gun during the attempt in, attempted assassination. Oh, boy. They're aiming to have 30% women recruits. By no! Why? YouTube influencer Michelle Kari. Yeah, YouTube. While the rest of the world laughs. No! Uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now of making sure that we need to uh, attract wow. diverse less women ensure that we are developing less diverse women to everybody less women of all kinds um, ah. diverse is the worst yeah. word in the english language right now the 2020 you know maybe habits. we could make this a, a positive maybe it should be trans women friend. yeah maybe I yes diverse. <laughs> shut up that no. would be one instance where i would say trans women are welcome because you're actually men and you mm -hmm. can be bodyguards yeah <laughs> at least they're dudes uh <sighs> Good. These Lord. are not people that you want to hand guns no. to. No. <laughs> and here is this poor woman is getting a ton of shit. The one that looks like Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. Recover. No. Yeah. She's like in the bridesmaid one too. Like that yeah. Melissa McCarthy. She looks like Danny DeVito. There's just too many women. Oh, that was a really lot concerned. of women. Yeah. I was like, yikes. At least and hot girls would like distract people. Like possibly distract things going on so they wouldn't be as focused. It's they'd be true. looking at their tits or something. Like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in all seriousness, this was just complete negligence yeah. in the name of appearing woke, in the name of appearing, you know, like they want equality, but it's not equality. They're putting people's lives at risk. It's fucking. If you buffoonery. also notice, if like, you notice too, the men are very straightforward and calm and putting him yeah. in the thing, and the women are like. Yeah. We oh, I gotta go over here. I, 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 I don't, I don't, oh, oh goodness, my pearls. Let me put the hand in front of me. Come under pressure. Even this one with the bun, who is the mm -hmm. most like pulled together one of all of them. Yeah. 
still they're like chick they move like chickens you know I they're like, like a scared I, rabbit I yeah. said this on the I said this when we were on the airplane Chrissy right I have one bias and it's just like not or you know I don't care the race of the uh, um, person flying the plane. I mm -hmm. but I a lady flying the plane. This is exactly what I was afraid of. If something, if the shit goes down, mm -hmm. I just know myself. I'd be like, ah, I forgot <laughs> everything. That's my one thing, right? You wanna, because I don't care what anyone says, especially if you're a girl on your period. You have brain fog. Your brain is like you're not completely there either. So that's gonna happen. So I just, I don't understand this at all. Like you're more discombobulated and not paying attention. It's just dumb. It's so fucking yeah, dumb. I don't want no bitches protecting me. Like, I, I don't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> like if I was a female bodyguard and this is happening, you know, all eyes are on you. It's like, you better throw yourself on the president. Like you need to do extra. Okay. Yeah. You need to show people like, I'm yeah, not just doing? here for the DEI hire. Like you got to. You should be jumping on the top of them. Jump across him on the top. If you look right. too, she's a she's pulling her pants down. If you just go what? back, she puts her sunglasses back on, and then you know how like a man wouldn't care. Like, okay, I don't care what's hanging out. Mm -hmm. if, if you go back, she puts her sunglasses back on and then adjusts her outfit. Oh my god! <laughs> a, yeah, a man but I would do the same, now. which is well, why all I was the cameras. A service agent. Oh, oh god. god. Or maybe right. it was something else, but That's so uh, terrible. I think she does. One of them does. Sunglasses come off. She's got her hand on the thing, and then sunglasses yeah. pull the pull the pull the blazer down. <laughs> they're, they're like, yes, we are very much in character. We're playing the role of a bodyguard. And look how official. Oh, we have sunglasses and we have jackets, and our hair is back. Yeah. I don't hate yes. these women for wanting to do it, and I don't hate I do. every, anyone for hiring them. But um, I hate them for wanting to do it. You mm -hmm. putting his life in danger. You at the there's a one photo of the Melissa McCarthy yeah. one straight up <laughs> ducking instead of mm -hmm. jumping yeah. to cover the president, and yep. that's because we're the fairer sex. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, I think they were trying to do good by hiring them, and I think they're this trying one. to do good by being yeah, one. Right but yeah, she's this picture. Like a, look at the, all these guys. Get this woman fired. She's like, ooh, help! Yeah, what <laughs> is this guy? This guy probably has a whole ass family, and he's like, whoop. Yep. All the way on. Oh top. yeah, his back is like directly in the like line of fire. Uh, yeah, I mean. <sighs> Yeah, I don't want no bitches protecting me. I am good. Like, no. she should have a bag with a sandwich in it. Like, oh, Trump, in case you get hungry, I made you this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I cut the crusts off and everything. Yes. Yeah. An SUV. That's what you can do. Okay. Damn. You should not be doing bodyguard shit. You're not guarding anybody. This is I, what well, diversity gets you. And well, and isn't the, it the job of the Secret Service? Why didn't anyone listen when they're like, "There's a dweeb up here crawling onto a roof with yeah. a rifle"? Like, why wasn't there more done there? I mean, that's not the that's the entirety of the Secret Service's fault. I mean, you think we know why? Is that what you just said? Why? It doesn't make sense. Oh. There's a lot that doesn't add up about the situation, um, including like why there are so many different names being thrown around for the shooter. Um, and it's it's just one of those things that will continue to to breed all kinds of hypothesis. And, uh, you know, the it's it's what they're they're like using these little th I feel like they spent years on the left calling us like conspiracy theorists, this, that, and this and the other. And like, when like something clearly happened, you know, like a man lost his life, like there was brain matter on like on the people around him. This isn't like, this is obviously not a fake thing. As soon as it's something that doesn't fit their exact narrative, it's like, Oh, well, obviously it's staged. Obviously mm -hmm. this can't be real. They go immediately into denial mode because admitting what actually happened is so damning to their party that they would not want to like even touch it. Um, so like, I, I don't know. I, I, why was he, they had, they say the one of the snipers had like a sight on him for like the first five rounds that went off to something like that. Yeah. I heard that too. He was taken out. Before like, he, yeah. that, how did that happen? Like, are you going to tell me like, are they, there's only really two things that make sense to me in that. It's like, either they're so severely incompetent and they like just kind of like didn't know what to do which is believable or 
there's malicious intention behind it, which is also extremely believable because mm -hmm. they spent the last, what, eight, ten years gearing everybody up. He's Hitler. He's the next dictator. He's going to destroy democracy. Yeah. And, you know, they have these, like, young kids who are at a much higher rate susceptible to these crazy mental illnesses taking in all this information and they think like wow like this guy's going to be the next Adolf Hitler and they're they're inspiring shooters and it's uh you know it's it's just a laughably scary um you know on on that end yeah and and uh right when this happened i was on the train on the way into the city to go to Keanu's bachelorette party. Leave and it to me to have a bachelorette party by the way the day the president is shot at. I mean, yeah, we, just, they did try to upstage him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was and happy I to saw, be upstage. It's the only I positive. On Twitter, and I started watching the footage and I started crying. Like I was like, <gasps> hand over my mouth and I started crying. And then like, eventually, you know, you hear the other people on the train sort of catching on. And I hear these, like, like these twats in their twenties being like, Oh, uh, I think he, I think he faked it. I think he faked it so he can look like a hero. I'm pretty sure he had pig's blood. And then one of the other people in the group said, "Oh, we were so close to having a, a work holiday on Monday." I'm like, you "Oh my that. god!" I love my BFF, um, the gentleman that was with us too. But he said the same thing at that table. He said, um, "Ellie, oh, oh, yeah, oh, you can say it, whatever." But um, he was like, "It looks, it looks fake, or it sounds state." I'm like. Oh. And why is that? Why do lefties immediately think, mm -hmm. why do some lefties think, oh, it's fake? Because I'm sure we've all heard somebody that said that in the last day. Well, look is at anything that happens. So, yeah. Are they so desensitized to all the hateful rhetoric or are they just. It doesn't I mean, they fit their narrative. It doesn't fit their narrative. It's a deflection. And it's a hundred percent. I mean, that's a hundred percent of like what their motive is. Guilty people accuse other people of what they're doing to take eyes off of what they're doing and try to focus it on other things. So this idea that like, oh, like there's no way this could have been real. It happened right before your eyes. It happened. It happened right before all of our eyes. Like there, you you also saw like years of not just politicians but these entertainers like buddying up with politicians to make these anti-Trump mm -hmm. rhetoric exactly right here. And, um, you know, you have Shake the Shakespeare. Um, is it well, Shakespeare? When was the last yeah. time? Oh, and this. Hold on. Yeah. Well, when was the last time an actor assassinated a president? <laughs> and it's like most oh, of them, Hollywood are they're puppets. So it's like, I'm sure he said that to sound cool. Mm -hmm. But this... You know, it it adds up over time. It's been what seven, eight years of this of mm -hmm. Trump is literally Hitler, and I know this kid was twenty, so he's probably been hearing it all throughout his his form formative formidable formative yeah. years. Formative you know? years. <laughs> also, his when, form, yes, his form fitting years. <laughs> when when yes. something happens to I a have person, thought that, an uh, awful lot about um, blowing up the White House. And then Madonna went back and said, oh, that was, uh, I was just kidding. Yeah, imagine if someone said that about Biden's White House. Just can you fucking yeah. imagine? They'd be in jail. They would yeah. be in jail with the January 6th people. Okay. And when something happens, the people that hate the person for getting any positive, honey, I'm sorry, but he did get positive attention for this. Trump did. When something like that happens, people always just call it fake. What did uh, Howard Stern, when Kim Kardashian got robbed in Paris, Paris said, if this is fake, mm -hmm. she should go to jail for this. Like, Chrissy, mm -hmm. how many, when I got shot at, not at, passed, mm -hmm. people were like, she staged this. Or yeah. when our our, um, our air, airline debacle, they were uh, like, this is a yeah. grip. They made this up. This didn't happen. You yeah, know, what we, people we, are we paid off an American Airlines employee. Yeah. <laughs> although, <laughs> although I will say, especially because we're on the conversation of Gavin um, before, we're, we, we will never forget when the, the fake Fed raid, because that definitely was a thing that happened. Uh, so, right. like, there yeah. are people who do go and like that's not the most egregious one example of that it's just on topic mm -hmm. yeah i guess but there are some people there are people <laughs> who are willing to stage outrageous situations for that's views so fucking for gay. <laughs> it's like well, the gay speaking shit. personally it would never come to my brain to have no. jim stansel 
standing outside my house with something that sounded like a gun. Yeah, no. So I could duck down for views. Like it would no. never yeah. ever come to my brain to do that. So yeah, Me I mean, either. but people when they hate the person, like my they brother want to is uh, you it, whatever. Exactly. My, my brother's doing pretty good uh, considering how much he um He's a big liberal and, but he's not, I thought, oh my God, my brother's going to be beside himself, you know, but he's, he's okay. It's just, it is a lot of positive. When Trump raised his fist into the air and was like, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> to me, I'm badass. Like, election over. That was badass. Like, that uh, was so gangster. Man, just, that was seriously was, gangster. Oh yeah. And one of the channels was like, oh, he should be toning down that rhetoric and that like, shut the fuck up. He just got shot at he you. Dumb not bitch. shot. What are you <laughs> I thought was, like, you're still yeah. trying to blame him for this? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Right Biden slurs his way through his speech them. and he can't find his way off the stage. Yeah. Trump gets shot and his first instinct is like, don't take me off the stage yet. I need to tell everybody that yep. I'm okay. Well, first what? he wanted to get his expensive shoes. And then... Now, really cool. now, who yeah. wants to walk around with no fucking shoes on, especially he, where it, he was? Because in he's Butler. such a man that he's like, either. I'm not walking out of here without my mm -hmm. shoes. <laughs> Probably because they're good shoes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, I don't blame the man for it. Then, I mean, it was an awe inspiring and wow, yeah. that was a the goose flesh inducing moment. For and this maybe is that's why he has women's secret service, they know what's important the shoes. <laughs> They made <laughs> sure they're like, oh, we'll get them. We got those shoes. So and maybe Trump he does is, know what he's doing. Trump is such a genius that he, in that moment, like, you you know, you're being shot at. You figure, God, like, run for cover, get the hell out of there. But he's such a genius. He actually takes, I mean, it's part PR smarts, but it's part, like, speaks to, like, uh, I don't know what, just his uh, testicular just fortitude and his, yeah. that he actually takes a moment and, and like, faces the camera and says like fight 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 he actually goes out of his way because i think in the back of his mind he knows like that that photo op is going to be priceless and legendary and just to He's make always to thinking, that moment yeah. and made the most of it when everyone would have understood if he was just like holy shit i, I just mean i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna maybe propose something different in the adrenaline of the moment sending a message to the mm -hmm. people who are trying to attack him like Fuck you! You're not. That's what I thought too. Now. I'm that fighting. Like, I'm here to fight, fight, fight. Y'all like, are making my nipples hard. You, my much. God, I have <laughs> goose flesh. Jesus, <laughs> literally, mm -hmm. like, ooh. <laughs> well, I mean, it was this moment is is burned into the in into history forever. That picture is burned yeah. into history forever. Yeah, and I don't think he was thinking of PR at all. I think he I was really don't. pissed think, and fired up and was like, fuck these people. Like, I'm I not think his going first anywhere. reaction was like, I'm not going to let these people yep. think that I'm scared right now because right. I'm not. I'm not. Yep. You're not going to. I'm not. That would be the me. worst thing to cower and shit. That's something he just would not fucking do, man. There's just no way. Mm -mm. Yeah. He's too stubborn and he is egotistical. But that's like one of his good qualities to do what he does. Like you have to be. They all are. That's why it's so funny when they keep saying he's egotistical. Oh, Obama's not. Are you fucking kidding me? He wrote like, like any in, in office books. in public like, office is not. Yeah, like are you fucking? They all are. You have to be to be a politician in some form. Like what the yeah. fuck? You think you're gonna save things? So yeah. Myself too. Like I want to save stuff. I don't think I'm like the best at it, but I'd rather get them the fuck out of there because I would be better at it than them. But mm -hmm. still, like you all are. Everyone that has like a show or anything, you all want attention. Your ego, you have something like that's, or you wouldn't do it. That's why people that aren't right. like that, they don't do that stuff. Right. They are right. not interested in it, and they don't want to sure. put themselves out there like that. So true. Just Thank you is. for the pink boy to air to attack air operation. <laughs> Biden just stated in his address that he and VP and VP Trump's hopes and prayers are with former President Putin and the others affected. Oh, that's funny. Thank you. Are you serious? I don't know if you're serious or not. That could be true. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is it real? Did he actually say that? Or is it just a joke? It's funny because like when I saw the first tweet about like Trump just got shot, I was like, nah, there's no way. There's mm. no way. And then I it was like refresh and I was like, oh, oh, this is real. This is really happening right now. Okay. <laughs> Me and my friend Joanne were in the Uber to the <laughs> Chrissy texted us in the Uber to the uh bachelorette dinner or whatever. 
And then I immediately called Gino. He's like, I know. And then it was. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, it's great. Yes, this happened. Oh, yes, thankfully, great. he's okay. God bless. Gino. Thank God. Yeah. Can you imagine how disturbing? <laughs> oh, it would have been. Uh, I don't know if people would have rioted because the, the right doesn't really riot like the left riots and like like you know if if trump had died what what use is it you know what i mean i think i'd be like yeah i'm finally gonna go loot that target you know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything it's not gonna bring him back it's they it would have taken dead. down all the locks on the deodorant and more the like a, uh a maybe depression mixed with some people really getting fired up and uh wanting to get involved or hold i just think about his home. family like i think about his kid going god his kid exactly that like well i think about his kid right now they're probably traumatized from this like that's not just the president that's our dad and he Mm -hmm. had his ear shot off basically a centimeter away from not having a dad anymore yeah i'm sure that's already something that they've like contemplated like it's not oh yeah but like to actually you know have to live through the experience is something totally different yeah there's always threats on his life daily Oh yeah, I don't really hear about it. This is just the uh, assassination attempt that we've heard about. Mm-hmm. This is the one that's been the most successful. Think yeah. about all the ones that that never even get into the news. Um, yeah, yeah, Missy. So has Anthony been talking a lot about the uh, attempted assassination? Right, right. Yeah. So yesterday we were out and we were sitting in this like small section of uh, this like little outdoor area, and it was just like maybe like six tables. And it was just in kind of like this alcove. So it was kind of echoey. So we see it happen. I'm like, what? Like, I couldn't, like, I I, I got sick to my stomach. Um, and everyone's looking at us. We're like, everything's cool. Um, <laughs> something happened. Yeah. We're like, not trying to draw attention, but, you know, like, he's loud as well. <laughs> and so, yeah, he's a. Uh, what does Ant say? With, what was that? What does Ant say as soon as he sees it? Well, when we saw it, we just. He definitely he was on with Gavin last night when we got home and uh, he went on with Gavin. And then, yeah, he we immediately like never didn't think it was fake at all. Never yeah. considered that. Um, I think, you know, but now as things are coming out, it is definitely I'm not saying it was staged, but there definitely is a lot of questions to be asked about the like lack of intelligence. Um, things that were like, oh, you know. Something that you know might have happened on October seventh. Similars, oh, similarities yeah. there. Yeah, like letting it happen, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. I asked my, I had to ask him if I could say this because I do talk to people at the FBI because of the trafficking, and we were talking about it yesterday. And immediately he was like, "Someone knew this is inside. This would not happen." Because I asked him, I was like, "How does this happen? Like all the the roof?" And he immediately was like, "That someone had to know that's that works with him or is working." So right. that was like his immediate it just seems answer. Like and I was like, a lot mm-hmm. to pull off for a 20 year old. Kid. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I mean, it's a lot like to pull really off, sad. But true. I don't know if anybody had seen the Candace Owens coverage of it. And she, um, you know, she said that she's been around the Secret Service significant amount of times around Trump. She spoke at the, R- um, the NRA once and she said that her husband, he, uh, mm-hmm. he had like, come in through like a weird sideway like like kind of like slipped in and like they were on his ass like ready to shoot him yeah like, guns pointed and she had to like jump in front and so for something like that for them to be so on the ball but then to have something where you're like okay yeah. let's just say maybe they couldn't get and jump on top of him right away well now they have this they said that they were in his scopes for so long right isn't that like a good time to maybe get him off the stage mm-hmm. to just Say why hey, let him keep uh, talking? Get him off, right? Exactly. Mm. Doesn't yeah, have to be as aggressive as shooting too. the guy. Okay, sure. I, yeah, I can't. No I, one's seen him on the roof, and other people did on the ground. Like, yeah, that's where didn't. that also intelligence fails, right? Like, okay, yeah. you have your standards, you know, Samaritans who see this before advanced intelligence. Like right. people who are literally their main job is to see every nook and cranny of any right. potential threat. Right. There's a nerd with a gun crawling on the roof over there of the mirror. Yeah. Can, we, please, can we do something about yeah. this? Like, Leave them there. I know. They all said they were He's like stunning. screaming and the cops were like, what? Like, what are you supposed yeah. to do? Like, how how long do you let 
somebody on a roof with a gun. I mean, I mean, I mean, is it? Could you? What is it, like four hundred feet it, away and no one? Look, is there an me? argument for shooting someone before they even take a shot? Maybe they're, they're not aiming allowed. a gun right. at the yeah. president at a former president. I think that's a pretty safe yeah. bet as to what their objective is here. Right. It's not like you have to be like, oh well, I want to. No, let's just sure see if he I does wanna... have bullets in there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he does at least, like shoot at the gun or do a body shot. Don't, do don't a shoot. Shot. He could be one right. of us. And you know, maybe they don't drag the president off stage because they don't want to cause a panic. Well, there is. I mean, right. yeah. it, it, actually, really that panic is way better than some guy who literally lost his life. Panic, right? No, the poor guy that lost his life. I don't know if you guys saw that yeah. video. Oh, really yeah. Sad. I wept. Well, oh, oh, God, I it wept was a the dad. whole thing. He, like, he, like, protected his uh, daughter oh. and wife. Yeah, he jumped in the line of fire to protect his family and took a bullet to the head. And everyone's like, uh, and people still have the nerve to be like, oh, it's staged. Right. It was, right. oh, the whole thing was... Yeah, my dad, that ER doctor with brain matter all over him that was trying to help him totally right. staged. Like, right. And when he just sits down and like takes deep breath, he's like, Holy fuck. <laughs> Look at that's we yeah, that bad, same yeah. guy. There was footage of him like yelling at the mainstream media um booth after they like he like walked up to the podium where like all of the cameras and stuff were, and he was like, This is your fault. You know this is your fault. Wow. Like wow. such a yeah. Yeah. Where's that no, video? No, no. There's like some videos. I, I, know, like I know I have it saved in my bookmarks. Let me pull it up. Guys, we have some constructive criticism. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Is it love Simcast, but people need to stop saying like every sentence. Like stop. I try. Like, I like, have like, asked for tips like. on this a million times. I don't know how. I've been trying and to train mm -hmm. myself not to do it. And I, I take every advice people give me to stop, but I just, I keep doing it like i don't know how to stop like yeah, i would like, have to like like, like 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 yeah like, 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 like i would have see, <laughs> i can't do it i don't want to do I it can't but I don't either. it's terrible train myself not to i couldn't even tell you if i was doing it or not will this force trump to do less rallies or do them from behind bulletproof glass or something Ooh. no i say no he's gonna get right back out in like a football field or something probably mm -hmm. he'll be like Wait, he's in you. yeah isn't he in Wisconsin or he's going somewhere? He said he's there. He landed there already. Well, he yeah. He's like going. Yeah, He said he was considering delaying by two days and he decided he wasn't going to let, you know, mm -hmm. some like would be assassin. Still delay his I mean, but at this point, his secret service needs secret service. He's I, I, if I, were yeah. him, I would hire more people. His secret service needs a fucking diet. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. And hi fire all the women. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Maybe they should just get him a suit of armor. I sent in the video to, in the private chat of the um the the doctor yelling at the mainstream media guys. Oh like, nice. Just... Oh, let me see here. Okay, okay. The Instagram video. Okay, let me pull that yeah. up. Bing 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 bing. <laughs> Trump supporters confront the media in the aftermath of the assassination attempt, blaming them for the attempt. Wow. Okay, they lieutenant. Tenant media. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the police policing now. Yeah, uh, like boom, a, guy, a, a hysterical. Uh, uh, they even let that go on for a little too long <laughs> where they reacted. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just a guy yelling, right? Yeah, I mean, it literally yeah, is right. just a guy yelling. He's also covered in brain matter, so he has a little bit of a right to. Is be he the guy? Yeah, it's this. I mean, it's the. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. He, no, it's, there's it's like a. Thing. There was like an African American. I don't know. Do we say that anymore? There was like a black doctor who was a, <laughs> the one I, who was like doing compressions on the guy that. Um, uh, okay. Damn. Uh, so there were two people, obviously, probably covered in brains. But I did. There see was a doctor with covered like a in white, blood. Yeah, white USA shirt that had like blood on mm -hmm. his shoulder. Yeah, I saw yeah. that picture. I don't know if that's the same guy you're referring to, though. It's all horrible for everybody covered in blood by someone being shot. Yeah, and then like, trying zone. to help them after. Yeah, but uh, let mm. me see. This is another another view. Okay, Ooh, this is helpful. Do 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 do. 
from Cinema Shogun. I'm sorry, but I've watched this video dozens of times. It really looks like the sniper noticed the suspect before the suspect opened fire. Uh -huh. They planned on letting him getting a few shots off at Trump before they neutralized him. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. You know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, oh, want to really see something said, look at, take look a look what happened. Look how insane you that is. Oh, man. A little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And he also looked away from the scope right at the worst mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Well, it, right yeah. there. He pulls back. Oh, also, man. what's that other guy? Why is that other guy not really aiming? The one that's laying yeah. down. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's his stance. Secret Service. And then the guy behind him. I know this from. Oh yeah. Wow. Shit. Whoa! He like cowered away. The guy behind him. Yeah, they're not aiming at. He's not aiming at you, bro. Isn't the person behind? And I think I know this from Jarhead. That's like a telescope, but not a gun. Oh wow! Is it right where he goes fire or something? I don't know. Oh, like he's just the co the confirming. Uh, like yeah, confirm, confirm or, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. But the then, scout. Yeah, he, look, he ducks down. Oh my god! Wow. So that fir that first shot got his ear, and then there was I think what four more. Damn. Mm -hmm. So lucky. I mean, like, lucky doesn't even begin to cover he, it. It would have gone straight through his damn skull if he didn't, if he wasn't an the animated turn? talker. Yeah. Yeah. And then also there was a, a cross breeze, uh, a significant cross breeze that uh, de could deviate the bullet from what they said about like an inch to as well. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. it was kind of a, it was a mix of the two um, that caused that bullet to stray. Can you imagine our country if we watched this man live, just like just get his uh, head fucking blown off? I mean, I, I don't think anyone really. Would have you have so many it. different angles of it, and all the cell phone coverage. Oh, almost like there's God. not enough cell phone coverage. I just feel like I feel like there should be so much more. Is, yeah, is honestly, that... there isn't a lot of cell phone coverage. Like, I really feel like there would be more. Like. Everybody is recording him as it is. Like, it's a Trump rally. Maybe, so. maybe you know, Trump uh, support. Maybe Republicans, like, live their lives not on their phones. They're not looking at TikTok. They're not, maybe. like, recording They're, like, things. actually watching yeah. what's happening. Maybe They're all actually watching. Maybe all these have footage are not, like, posting it. Right? And it's like, where do you post it for maybe. everybody to see? That's why I guess, like, a couple things we're seeing is, like, t TMZ. Like, that's probably... A lot of people are resorting to that, but who knows? TMZ could have so much footage and right. they have, you know, we all know who like is in charge and keeping things maybe under wraps over there where they're like, oh, you have all this footage. Uh, hold right. off on that. Like I've worked at news companies. I've worked mm -hmm. there. I've worked in editorial. I know what it's like where you have this idea and you want to and they go, mm, that's going to actually deviate away from what we're trying to achieve here so let's not post that yet mm. you know like they're very that. very yeah there it is the God. the crosswind there's a seven mile cross so seven mile per hour crosswind at trump's rally yesterday enough to push a 5.56 round two inches to the left two inches of its target at 150 yards if there hadn't been a slight crosswind yesterday that bullet was ugh, yikes oh my god jesus oh my god I don't so care who you made are. Trump yeah. more of like a prophet type of figure than ever. Yeah. Like because <laughs> like what how did that like that is just the perfect amount of everything. It that, that is divine I mean, the intervention. Of the, yeah. the, of the bullet whizzing by his head. It's just like yeah. I, I it just like gives me heart palpitations even thinking about it. Like, no, I, I again I have goose flesh. My nipples are hard again. This is horrible mm -hmm. and terrifying. Kiki's got some kinks. I know. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a good way. It makes me it makes my body go like yeah. based on yeah. the chart. Is this chart saying that there was a random gust of wind between like six I don't know, what is this, seven o'clock? Looks like six o'clock and nine something. It looks like Biden's votes mm -hmm. in the election. Uh, <laughs> I, sent, I sent this to you too. You can't make it up. The kid was, he didn't get on the rifle team because yeah. he was a poor shot. 
Oh god. Um, yeah, I did see that. Was a good that shot. Up. He would have known to accommodate for that crosswind. So, so maybe the, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Oh my god. Uh. I, I so I don't know if any of you heard this either, but I had I had heard that his rifle was an iron sight. Um and then there was a, a supposed claim on 4chan that of one of those snipers that were on the roof. And then I, I don't believe the the snipe that the 4chan as much anyway, but it was claiming that like they were looking at the shooter for so long, but he was futzing with his his sight. So that's where it's like, okay, well, or his scope. They said he was futzing with his scope. So it's like, oh. well, which is it? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. right. God, that's so weird. It's all weird. And then they evacuated the neighborhood, like where his parents or he and his, I guess, parents lived because he had bomb stuff in his car or something. What? Yeah. 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 He was like, had bomb shit. And oh, yeah, that okay. uh, extraordinary <laughs> guy you see on the attempted assassination of Trump, a witness to the shooting and, uh, and eth of the assassination. Oh, a must watch. This is a guy. Have you seen this one? Have you seen this clip? I have. I have. I've seen it. It's uh I just wish he took off the weird um yeah. fake hair. No, I love yeah, but or maybe it's iconic. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is poor. greenhouse here. We had a party. Um and we all decided, hey, you know, when when we hear Trump up there, we're gonna walk up through the field. Stand by the trees out there under the shade. Looks like his and actual hair. I know. I thought it was. I was and that's <laughs> what I was confusing. And then it's distracting. You're like, oh, so wait. That's up, some... I thought it was. Five to seven minutes of Trump's speech. And look how he, he took a Sharpie up. to it and wrote, like, he crossed out the zero. Four. <laughs> row four. I love that's, his hat. He's on a budget. I want to stay up to date. But, um, it's my lucky hat wig. He's probably not even thinking about the hat. To take no, it off exactly. That was a of the building beside us 50 50 feet away from us so we're standing there and you know we're pointing we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof and he had a gun right he had a rifle right. we can clearly see him with a rifle absolutely um we're pointing at him the police are down there running around on the ground we're like hey man there's a guy on the roof with a rifle Jesus. and the police were like huh what you know like like they didn't know what was going on yes. you know we're like hey right here on the roof we can see him from right here we see him you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're Holy moly. No. The shots came from that guy on the roof. hundred percent. Hundred percent, and he he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. Were not there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police and the secret service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the secret service. We were looking see at him. beer in his hand. I would need a beer. Like, yeah, I would too. Because the roof, the way that the slope went, he was. <laughs> he's got a. He's cozy. It's like he wanted. It's a mug. I think it was the mug shot, wasn't it? Mm hmm Yeah. Did you see? I mean, obviously, everyone. Oh my God, no! I'd be ripping claws too. Very panicked. Did, oh, you, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh yeah, they blew his head off. Okay, sorry. Secret Service blew his head off. Okay, I love that. Careful, <laughs> blew his head off. Like, sure bro, they, they really blew his fucking head off. Absolutely, hundred percent. Okay. Yep. You, you wow. Yep. I seen the picture of the yeah, kid with his head blown off, off, which I did not, off. but it was just there, yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, great. I didn't want to see that. Yeah, why do we need to see that? Yeah, I did not. I just opened. Uh, someone warned me too because I was streaming and I just completely forgot. Like, I went to go get a shower and I just opened it to check it and it was just there. I was like, oh, cool. You like, just gone to you message or texted it to me. I'm like, oh, thank you. I, yeah, it's thanks. Not my I, bachelorette party or anything. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I don't know. Yeah, some people might want to see that. Like, they get very fired up. They need to know that. But I don't know. Maybe it's more helpful to get the guy alive and uh, question him. No, it doesn't give me any like you mm -mm. know solace oh, sure. that that yeah. It's like what. It, and then there's a video of uh, his former you know classmate talking about how he was bullied and things. 
you know that that's where okay so everyone wants to say like this was staged and it was fake and you know i think we're with that said like people probably think it was because that's something you don't really see often so like Mm -hmm. you can't really wrap your head around it to really like justify it as reality or not because it's so crazy however Mm -hmm. now when i don't know i just feel like that's a crisis actor that that kid talking about that it, kid, I, it to me actually seemed like he was an idiot and was yeah reporting on like just because he was bullied i mean it does it's <laughs> he's on my bus like i don't yeah, know he was like i don't know he even wore a mask the whole time like even after covid and everything like and of course I, he did yeah there he is he, <laughs> every day. he was bullied almost every day in what way can you explain? I don't know. Um, I mean, he would sit alone at lunch. I mean, he was just an outcast, and you know how kids are nowadays, so yeah, they don't see someone like that. I don't like think that, this kid is, like, taken up of... for him. I think he's just mm-hmm. saying, like, reporting. I think he's I'm saying like, the most yeah. generic thing about a, a – so, for, for I think mm-hmm. what they're trying to do right now is really paint the shooter mm-hmm. as a certain person. Mm-hmm. A lone wolf type. Yeah, the lone wolf working uh, alone, okay. you know, to try to deviate it that he was, you know, like the same kind of kid who shot up um, the uh, at the the school the on theater. Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. Okay. That school. Ah, uh, okay. Um, oh, that makes sense, right? Or else, remember how? I mean, and there was a lot of yeah. crisis actors too, but they they described them exactly the same freaking way. Like yeah, everyone right. bullied. Yeah, no, that doesn't give you the right to kill people. Like right, every I was bullied relentlessly and jumped every day in high school outside. Right. And guess what? I still went in school. Even when it, I couldn't put my head up and right. was falling on the desk because they pulled my hair so hard and shit. Like, dude, I still went mm. in and I didn't fucking kill anyone. Right. Like, get the fuck out of here with this no, shit. No, right. It's not an excuse, I'm obviously. Bullied. And I'm also, how about it. this? His parents were both um behavioral therapists no of course they were both of the shoot the shooters (laughs) or the shooters parents this one (laughs) yeah they neglect their own kid to you know help maybe he just wants to get on tv too he like i was gonna say this strikes me as somebody who like took the opportunity Mm -hmm. he was he was contacted because they didn't know him at all probably (laughs) they, they figured out that he was one of the people they were trying to get a comment from somebody who can be, you know, in the general circle and they just, you know, were like, oh, he's willing to make a statement. Here you go. Oh, it's I thought sad. this guy was like, just like outside. I don't want to say this is what... something. No, he went to school. With him. Yeah. He probably threw tater tots at him and shit, but he's like, yeah, you were bullied by people, not he me. He probably bullied him. Um, <laughs> he's he's not he was just... Well, because like when he, he quiet, I think, but like we, he I think we talked to him, like but at one point he's so like, much, "Oh, do you know so any? Much. Do you remember any of the names he was called?" And the kid's like, "Oh no, I don't remember." It like strikes me very, so it's very yeah, much like yes, person. exactly. <laughs> That's what I mean. That I like the, what he's describing is so generic and basic. If I was There's no specifics. Like, yeah, I, I can tell you there was a kid, Julian. People like literally would tease him that he was like sort of deaf or retarded, and they would like tease him all the time they pushed him they tripped him they slapped his books out of there yeah mm-hmm. that sounds generic but he also would throw up in class pretty out pretty often and like so there was reasons why but here that's more specific than mm-hmm. th- that kid had but i never spoke to that kid he was always from a distance i never had a conversation with him so you know like you can have a little bit of specifics about somebody from a distance especially in this in a high school yeah and well, i mean my my i was proposing kind of not like the opposite but i was sort of also proposing that like maybe he was guilty of these things so like he didn't oh. want to like, admit he didn't want to, to say, the names that he was yeah. calling this kid he didn't want to admit to being like an active participant oh that's um, a good point yeah that's out. Like, the reporter should have been like well what names did you call him like it just yeah, right. like, well, like, what were the names that you guard. called him dummy yeah. would you call him <laughs> or uh um yeah yeah he said he were you know mi- uh military fatigues to school and a oh, mask yeah. all the time yeah and he was like he, that kid just seems like an idiot and just reporting on the fact that the guy was a loner and sat alone at lunch but it doesn't he had change a neck tattoo way. also did you notice he had a <laughs> neck tattoo how old is this kid i know yeah are you probably yeah. also like early 20s Huh. Oh yeah, the kids all these shooters, they all idolize like the Columbine. Like they all follow the same like one of the greatest psyops ever. Yeah, like they all are very, very similar if you like look into them. I only looked into a few of them. 
Um, well, because I don't want to give them too much credit or say their name so much because this is why they keep happening because they make them famous and that's all they want is the attention no matter how they can get it if they're dead or not. They're just right. infamous now. So I don't even want to know. But from the ones I do know of, it's very similar to Columbine. It's all since that happened, it's been pretty steadily the same kind of people and it's mental tactic. illness but they mm -hmm. don't even want to live anymore so it it, it just it's like happened. their idols. So it could have been it could have been maybe anybody it could have been you anybody the in fan the clubs for them right. for but the i'll be shooter yeah. it's they fucking want sick they Dude. want they want their name you know they want to be known for exactly so it's not necessarily mm -hmm. political they just no. don't want to live anymore. And like, yeah, but now so we'll like, know my name. like Dylan yeah. Kleibold and shit or whatever his name is. Like there's like fan clubs for these people. It's right. wild. Well, like you, I sent it into the group chat. There was like a uh, one psychotic chick on Twitter who um, took the, the picture from the um, show American horror show or American horror story um, of like the, I forget the specific season, what, what it's called, but um one of them like the one of the main characters is like a like a school shooter and like she took the image of him like about to shoot up his school and was like i know who wouldn't have missed mm -hmm. and it was one of those like are you really like fetishizing yeah. this guy who's like uh -huh. a, you know like a fantasy school shooter and like proclaiming that you wish that he would have killed the president like are you like it's just yeah like, it's th there's so many oh my god if you look into it like if you're ever curious about this or want to do a story or something dude there's so many they're on tiktok a lot of the times like you can find a lot of them talking about it it's yeah. pretty sick man like it's really you know disturbing. who wouldn't miss that is fucking low down dirty awful yeah say wow i think the, the, the brain doesn't other... talk like that I mean, no, they don't. And, and, and like, honestly, when we do, it's obvious that it's a joke. Like there, like there are people who will, like make obvious, like, yeah. you know, like overstatements that are meant for comedy. I, they're, we're not yeah. sitting in front of our camera after an almost assassination. Like, I can't believe that it was just a centimeter away and all of my mm -hmm. home. Yeah. Were, it's like, Oh right. my God. You, like you watch that and you put it on the internet or you were like, I'm going to go live. This is brilliant. Like, how retarded can you get? Also, Most someone did, jokes, somebody did die during this. That's just, yes. that's, yeah. just right. that's a, that's a uh, you know, too soon right. is like the thing that you would say, I guess. But like, the it's not even right. Funny. Would, would joke about something like this was like when when Biden was installed, there was the meme going around of uh, Kamala pushing him off a cliff in a wheelchair, and that was the extent <laughs> of it. That, well, no that's one, what I'm saying. Like, if it if there's ever like. I wouldn't say this would be something that the right would joke about specifically. I'm saying that like when there is a joke that seems like to this extent where it's like, oh, we're like making some of some fun something macabre. It's not like it's not in the same vein. It's not mm -hmm. in the same intent. It's actually like you can tell the difference between when someone's actually trying to be funny and like it's sometimes maybe even failing. But tr someone, someone's actually just trying to make a joke to make light of the situation. And when someone is like genuinely disturbed and just saying mm -hmm. something messed up because they yeah. think yeah. like oh well like this is a brilliant take and everyone's gonna agree with me <laughs> like yeah just like with the paul pelosi thing like it was only funny because like dude was in his underwear he wasn't injured to the point where you know Stay he wasn't blown. shot at or anything it was just i don't want him to be hurt i didn't want paul pelosi to be hurt either like no, that would no. be terrible so and i wouldn't joke it. about it like it's not the same yeah. i don't want anybody all. hurt i want them out of office i want them yeah I don't want them, I don't want people to kill anybody yeah. on any side. That's sick in the fucking mm -hmm. head. Quite yeah. That's and how they prop on everybody an up on an, a, a private investor call or whatever. He said, "Oh, that we need to put a bullseye on Trump." And mm -hmm. there's countless examples. I mean, there's compilations online of of all the rhetoric, all the really violent rhetoric. So maybe that, you know, lonely, bullied freak kid is looking at all that being like, he's coming to my yeah. town. I, he doesn't probably have any, you know, yeah. the oh, way was, I don't want to live anymore anyway. So PJ Pearson was actually commenting on this and he was saying like, I, I don't know if you're familiar. He's, he's, you know, a, a somewhat popular commentator. Um, but he's he's 21 himself and he wrote a tweet earlier that was basically like this this guy was like a year 
younger than I am, we need to address the mental health crisis that's happening in my generation from the extreme rhetoric of the mainstream mm-hmm. media, because this isn't, this isn't an isolated, like this might be one of the people bold enough to try to attempt this and who knows what emboldened him in the first place. But like, this is indicative of a lot of that generation and how they feel. And these videos that we're talking about is a prime example of that. They have no empathy or like no. feelings of uh, sin- sincerity towards this person who had almost lost their life because they've been so programmed into thinking that if he comes into power, we're bringing about Hitler, that they've desensitized the, any humanity about any of the situation to the degree that they're making videos crying about the fact that he only almost got assassinated. Like mm-hmm. this is this is a, a common mentality and something that needs to be addressed. Yeah. Uh, from James Sharp, reading stuff saying many of the Secret Service agents were not in his regular detail. Agents were pulled from other uh, orifices. No, from other oh. offices. <laughs> as Trump's other detail. orifices were over, pulled over from extended. other offices. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Where the hell were yeah, they yeah. All the chicks. They're also yeah, there was pretty um, even keel and good at their job. Like, well, I heard that Trump was actually asking for more Secret Service detail, um, and they weren't giving it. And that RFK Jr. was asking for more um, Secret he Service. He didn't get this. in. Well, he I seen Biden he, upped it, and then guess who did? Who did, did get it. Secret Service? Who did? Hunter was probably. Nikki Haley. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah. And she's not even, and like, look at some of her rhetoric that she's talked about. There's some sketchy stuff going on over Nobody all that. cares about Nikki Haley anymore. Nobody like, does. Yeah. But who, like, who gives a shit about you? We would be talking a way different tune. And I, you know, I don't want to do talk like, you know, like uh, in hypotheticals, but, you know, we would be singing a whole different tune if there wasn't a Trump right now and they would be scrambling to get it. Who has delegates? Who has hmm. delegates right now? So who's going to get that? Who's going to who might be that potential replacement uh, for the Republican? Spot? Everyone hates Nikki Haley. I, yeah, she's awful. But you know what? They're going to. Well, everyone hated Biden. But look at how his numbers oh. jumped the night of the election. They, they made it happen when they want it. Biden to for years, though, for years yeah. and years and years, all the way back to when Obama was in office pre Obama, when they were doing the election for them, they have been like. Think about a great example of that. You guys know the show Parks and Rec? Of mm-hmm. course. Remember how they fetishized the hell out of Joe Biden in that show? And it was like... Ew, really? Yes. Okay, like, Leslie Nope, like, spoiler alert, the show's been out forever, so if you guys are going to forget I about that. I just but, don't like, remember um, it, yeah. No, like, Leslie Nope, her big thing oh, is, like, her celebrity Biden. sex list is Joe Biden. Joe Biden's the sexiest man alive. You're um, right. Really? I and forgot like, about heard, that. Like, yeah. like, a lot of my, like, my, um, I forget what year it would have been in. It would have been around 2020. But, like, she had, like, a sexy Joe Biden coloring book. Like, this yep. was years and years and years of programming people to be like oh we're gonna yeah. we're riding for biden he's he's like um you know obama's you know gail to oprah like let's mm-hmm. get excited it's been it was a long time setting up for people to get hyped on biden uh let me see let's do a little snippet i of only this. like that down don't be suspicious uh, that's fine 2024 i win we move in there I'll take the West Wing. You take the East Wing. You can be the first gentleman. Oh, Actually, that sounds kind of great. <laughs> yeah, here we uh, go. That, how, did, how did you do this? Call in a few favors. Excuse me. Few. This looks like a completely different dude than the yes. guy we see. 100 favors. Day. Mr. Vice oh President, God. Ben Wyatt from this Congressman is a different- Murray. Fucking dude, look at this yeah. guy. Hey, ben, Dave told this me. This is also a while ago. You must be Leslie. No, welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> you're, you're, my, my, my name just came out of your mouth. Well, yeah, it did. <laughs> well, this dude, oh, this is a it's not guy. right. This That's actually pretty real. great that it, we're seeing this. This isn't right real. No, it's, it's actually, happening, and I'm delighted to have you here. On behalf of the president and myself, I oh, want to. Oh, Mr. Vice President, doesn't President, sound like he has a speech impediment there, does it? Voice is totally different. Be flattered. You There's know, no I way think that I take over. I think this is more of a joke that he is such a dud that Leslie that he wouldn't be anybody's him. favorite. Yeah, he wouldn't be anyone's favorite. I mean, <laughs> I, yes, I wish it was the Biden we have today. He'd be like. <sighs> People talk about how they don't want yeah. people to know their internet history. I don't want people to know how many hours I have logged watching these shows. 
And I'm going to tell you, this is like not the only example that is like comes up over and over and over and over again, where she's like, oh, Joe Biden, I love you. And it's like, it's either a great a job or in your town and in the state. It's funny. Like that's, that would be why. But, public service. but I mean, the timing of it is what specifically why I'm yeah. saying like, no, they, I agree. They we're right. putting this into the uh, into the minds of the American public long before the, wow. the idea of Joe Biden on a ticket. Wow. They, Obama's not there. Obama's president at this time. Okay, Obama's not there, guys. Thank you, Mr. Hmm. Yeah, it's right. all about Biden. It's all about like, let me put the focus on. You understand me? Wow. He literally was just like, "You protect him. He's an American treasure." Like. That like this isn't the only example of it, too, guys. Like yeah. there were Wait, like here was the episode. episode. They're asking. Let's see. This came out eleven years ago. So oh wow, 20, 2012, 2013? Makes sense. Wow, Obama hmm. planting the seeds. They were planting hmm. the seeds for a long time for this presidency. Mm. That makes sense. Hmm. Jeremy <laughs> Parker, Trump is really lucky he turned his head a second before it happened. Yeah, wow. It's divine intervention. Not Didn't Trump even, say he uh, was like turning to look at the really, statistics really on illegal aliens when he, he was? Yes, yeah. he was looking at a huge chart of illegal alien statistics. So they, exactly. well, they did sorry. one thing right. I they guess. did one hmm. thing right. Yeah. <laughs> Saved by the illegals. Yeah, let me pull up that chart. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Wow. I just, uh, I just can't believe that per how close how close we all were i just think of his kids i would be mm -hmm. i would never sleep again i don't think yeah well you know what my dad was shot in the head and killed and i've been able it to must sleep. be very no. triggering to you i thought of that earlier like, how Chrissy. ironic yeah. is it that we're having this conversation when like chrissy literally lost her dad yeah getting shot in the head <laughs> it's I know. all right i haven't dealt with it yet i probably have issues Aww. um here's the screen <laughs> new york times <laughs> Illegal immigration into the U.S. and it shows. Wow, DACA announced in 2012. Obama family. What does it say? D detention policy in 2015. Uh, new DHS tool to begin, and then wow, and this is 2024. It's just like whew, skyrocketing. So he was looking at this. Now I wonder if this was just printed out or if it changed. Like if it was a screen or just like a printed out chart. No, of course. No, it looks like a big. <laughs> There's a guy who actually just rolls it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's, it's not a. It's not a, a no, it's not. A, yeah. yeah. Like an oh, it's a big deep piece of oak tag. Like, hey, ye, right, hey, ye, you mean like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> a scroll, a giant scroll. A giant scroll. Was this printed out, or was it, you're thinking of the the tech? The tech <laughs> it looks printed out, doesn't it? Look at it. Yeah, it looks like a billboard, like on it cardboard. Like cardboard. Yeah, yeah. it looks like no on screen, the, right? No I think it's just like right. multiple panels. Hmm. Yeah, of a of a screen. Hmm. Wow. They probably had fireworks ready to shoot out of it, like the exploding. Oh, hell yeah. And that's why people thought that the bullets might have been firecrackers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh, okay. Omega Ranger. The most hardcore Biden supporters are those who believe J6 uh, simp for censorship and think Koof is still the end of the world. Truly high IQ minds. Poof. Wow. That's Koof. The Koof. Call Fifi? Co COVID. Oh, I didn't know that that was a name. For the yeah, Koof. I know, and I heard uh, God, just because just having the news on all day, and they're talking about, well, this is going to sway the uh, the undecided voters Trump's way. I'm like, I just can't believe that there are people that are still undecided in 2024. It's like you're either mentally ill for Biden or you're a regular normal person. <laughs> are there I ever remember, any like people that are Ill. undecided? Like, yeah, like weird. Did um DeSantis be I saw I forget I forget who specifically but like there was one of these like influencer types who was like I don't care I'm still writing in DeSantis and I was like wow like <laughs> you could have just said I'm a retard and it would have come off so much better <laughs> like, yeah. I think liberal people are mad because if you weren't gonna go out and take your time to vote for Trump <laughs> that you will now like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that's that's why they're upset about it. But. They've always been so incredibly smug and confident on their side, which is, you know, I would love to something. see the numbers on, on register, like how many people registered to vote like right after. 
You think? <laughs> I don't know. I think people. You think people that are still not registered to vote? I, th I just don't get it. I don't. How tapped out do you have to be to still be on the fence at this point? <laughs> I mean, like the I would say the average normie is not necessarily plugged into any of this, and like knows what happened. But like, um, as my mother would say, like prefers to remain apolitical. Mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, yeah. Just, like not be bothered. There's so but, many like, people that don't want to care and don't care, don't want to watch the news, don't want to, you know, they like would rather um, and can't make a choice. Cause they don't know I what's happening. Like I love, I love my junk food entertainment and I love to like tune out and chill, but like, you know, there's real world implications to the things going on around you. And if you're, you know, so far disassociated, then you probably shouldn't even be trusted enough to vote in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's just, yeah. And it's just that, that um, it's cool to hate whites. It's cool to hate Trump. They, they have, they have depicted they, yeah. that. For years, for years leading up to the 2016 election, the second Trump announced that he was going to run for president. It's just they have been finding every possible way of to dehumanize Trump. To uh, normalize his murder, too. Let's talk about that. I mean, oh, like, yeah. Well, Chrissy's tweet was great about that. Like, isn't this what you assholes always mm -hmm. wanted? Like, mm -hmm. it's so true. And there's multiple other examples of of people doing that to Trump. There was that. What was that? Um. Uh, Shakespeare in the Park, right? Yeah, exactly. um, I mean, the uh, yes. Was it, right. um, it was like, um, yeah. <laughs> they were, you know, they they did like a, a mock assassination of him uh, live on stage, you know, night right. after night. Oh, wow. It's, it's like King Lear or something. That was, the, that was the, yeah. the thing that Laura Loomer, she stormed the stage. Right. Right. Um, to, to like protest, like, no, right. like, you're not going to do this. is disgusting. You're, you're, you're. That is like, sick. That's just weird. That's like beyond like inciting violence. That's like, yeah, no. When are we going to an example? Lawsuit? Like, go with family, it. Or families should sue every single one of them, and they should demand no less than one point five billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. are you saying that's that? Or, or what is it now? You guys set that precedent, and now you're going to live with the consequences. Sucks to suck. Mm -hmm. What about the people who are with that pre same pre precedent in mind? Look, look at the people who are considering that this is staged. Uh, who else said that? Uh, there was a shooting that was staged and maybe fake and yeah. lost millions, millions and millions of dollars and just lost his entire network. Let's right. propose to take their social media. Let's propose to take any businesses they have. Let's propose to, you know, disallow them from any public square. Let's make sure that they never get a chance to speak again. And also, like I said, we'll, we'll parade around the fact that they're going to be broke for the rest of their lives. <laughs> yeah.